CAT grade control on wheel tractor scrapers automates machine movements for self-loading, push-pull, and grading of fill. Begin by checking the sequence assist. Select the proper design from the grade control display. The grade display has light bars to give the direction and distance to grade, graphics of the machine cutting edge above or below design, and text items with grade information. When entering the cut area, choose the load sequence and turn on the load assist and grade protection. Manually begin the cut. Press the Load Assist Grade Control button to enable automatic control. The Load Assist will lower the cutting edge to keep the machine at maximum tractive effort and the grade protection will keep the cutting edge above the selected surface design. If you are above grade with the Load Assist and Grade Protection active, the machine will continue to lower and raise the cutting edge as needed to keep the machine speed consistent. The grade control will not affect cutting edge height when above grade. When you reach the target elevation, the grade protection feature will prevent the operator or the load assist from manually lowering the cutting edge below grade. At that time, the machine speed will increase as the load assist will no longer be able to lower the cutting edge and slow the machine. If the implement control is moved past the lower position and into the float position, it will disable grade protection. If there is inconsistent material, or if the cut area is uneven, override the load assist by manually raising or lowering the cutting edge. Releasing the implement control will return to automatic operation. These systems can also be used independently. At the end of the cut area or when the machine is loaded, press the sequence and the load assist buttons to cycle to ready to haul and disable load assist. The cushion hitch will engage. Normal transmission hold features are returned to operator control. Cycle to the unload sequence when in the fill area and the machine begins to unload. The apron and bowl raise to the position the operator preset in the sequence assist and the ejector moves forward automatically. While in the fill area, use the indicate options of the grade control display if the digital design also covers the fill area. The automatic grade protection does not work in the unload sequence. If the operator interrupts the automatic sequence by manually moving the controls, the bowl and ejector automatics are disabled. Cycle to the return sequence to position the bowl, apron, and ejector to keep any leftover material from falling out on the roadway while returning to the cut area. Cycle back to the load position and the entire sequence will begin again. Use the indicate options on the grade control display to help control the scraper efficiency. During the load sequence, the operator can see surface information. Profile view and cut fill maps display where to take out material on the next cycle. Use level or downhill cuts and minimize uphill loading for more productivity. Adjust the light bar scales to check cuts and fills. Raise or lower the design elevation using the display options or the increment decrement switches on the keypad. This will allow the grade control to automatically level the area. Original design elevation is displayed on the status bar. If the design covers the fill, there will be an indication of target grade on the display, the same as the cut area. You can use automatic grade control by following these steps. First, raise the grade using the normal sequence of operation and the grade indication on the display. Offset the selected surface by incrementing above the finish elevation with the increment switch. Next, cycle the sequence assist to the load sequence and use either the grade protection by itself or the load assist and grade protection to automatically raise and lower the cutting edge to finish grade. Then, make a trim pass to help compact and spread the fill. Use the keypad increment switch to return to the original elevation. Additional passes will increase accuracy and smoothness. Using the grade protection by itself will allow the operator to keep at or above grade and operate in any gear. 
Using a combination of sequence assist and grade protection requires that the machine stay in second gear. Adjust sequence settings and use load assist to get more productive cycle times. For push-pull operation, place the transmission selector in second gear on the lead scraper to avoid an upshift when cycling to the haul sequence. The alternative is to disable sequence assist and use normal transmission hold controls and other machine functions manually when pulling the rear scraper through the cut. Use grade control and load assist normally. The pulled scraper can use sequence assist along with load assist and grade control without modifying the transmission control manually. Do not press the load assist grade control button until after the first scraper is loaded. It will engage immediately and begin loading too soon. There are more videos available for the grade control display. To get the most out of the CAT grade control system, please refer to the operational and maintenance manual provided with the machine.